Hello everybody, I'm Luiz and let's talk about Revit API context. What is that? What you're gonna need to know how to check if your code is running in context or not. And yeah, basically if you try to run some Revit API in a place that you should not be doing, Revit gonna throw something, some exception like this one. Invalid call to uh, Revit API. API is currently not uh, within the API context. Yep. Yeah. That's basically what I have to say. Should not run this code right now because I'm not ready for that. Basically, something like that to prevent you uh, break something in the document or another place. Yeah, and uh, here's some place that Revit gonna be in context when you are in the idle event, the external event when Revit is running and when you run some Y commands like clicking a button or something like that. And there's some place that's gonna have that exception if you try to run some Revit API code like the uh, WPF and modeless uh, version and the Dockable as well, that's basically modeless. And if you try some async task, you're gonna have that or similar exception like that. So let's run in some code and uh, show some example with tasks because it's easy to implement. So let's go in my Revit here. And if I go in this project, that is my library that I'm creating for uh, account.revit.y uh, tasks. So I can manage that uh, if you Revit in context or not. So I can run uh, async codes uh, in an easy way. And yeah, uh, if I create some uh, some task in here, something like this, that uh, with a wait and create some something like this. Hello, and build that. This should appear in my console in here because I'm using the uploader. Should appear after one second. That's that. So if I add another uh, await and put something uh, like, like this video and build again, should appear the hello again in that. And, the, and then uh, like this video, yeah, that's it. So I know for sure in here is not in context. So in Revit context. So if I add this code, like create a button, let's, Add that try catch in here just to not break anything. And let's put uh, exception message. And this, yeah, this is gonna try to create a button. And I'm gonna have the hello. And then I'm gonna have an exception. Mm, where, where is it? Yeah, yeah. External component has to throw an exception. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not ready for that. Please, I need to be in context. Yeah, uh, that's not pretty clear, but yeah, there's another other exception that's easy and faster to use and to check. That basically, uh, when you try to add some events in the Y controller, the Y application, you're gonna have an exception like that. So if I create, uh, let's try, yeah, if I create something like this, let's change that, something like this. I'm gonna try to add an idle event in here. And after that, I'm gonna try to remove so I can use that. And that's gonna throw that exception, that invalid call to Revit API. And that's uh, pretty fast. So you're gonna appear, yeah, that's what's happening. So if I do this, I could create some methods to check if my, if this Y control application is in context or that code that I'm checking that is in context. So if I try something like this, uh, let's add the hello, hello and in context application yes and build that and should uh, hello false yeah and if i put this code in here like this uh let's in context yes should show in context in context true and mm, hello false yeah that's a easy way that i never saw someone sharing that's easy to check 
if your code or this application, the React application is in context. So that's an easy way to use that. So I can uh, change my main code in here, my main library to use some code like that uh, in here. So I can use that code in here to run that, uh, that run in the context instead of often try to execute in the next idle or send a external event to run that code because they are already in context. So that's the idea. I'm going to update this in a future video, I guess. So that's it for uh, this video about the in context, Web API. So thanks for watching and bye.